number six. All right, here's the important title. Oh, yes, I've been waiting. Don't overreact to week one. Witty. Now, Very witty. I'm not exactly sure what you mean. Okay, yeah, mm. I understand. What I'm saying by what I mean is I mean that I, I don't want you okay, so far or so me to make too big of a deal mm. over the first week of the season. Is that a better way to say that? Don't overreact to week one. And the reason why I am titling it so obviously is because this would have been such great advice to remember last year. Yeah, actually, it, it was. And it was one of the things to remember last year. It was the end yeah. is the beginning is the end. Yeah. That was the title. Oh, that was the problem. We had a title is the problem. The beginning is the... What does that mean? We I don't know. Well, I, did, I did explain it. Well, but I, I didn't just say it. I don't <laughs> listen. I'm off in la-la land here. Okay, I'm a fair enough. I'm a, I'm a look at the headlines type of guy. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a good, that's a good bit. Um, so, yeah, look. Don't. It happened last year enough that you brought it up as something to remember. But we all fell victim this year to Sammy Watkins, to to TJ. Not, not all of us. Well, no, but yes, even you were like, yeah, I yeah. guess I've got to admit yeah, I was no, you're wrong. Right. You're right. But you weren't wrong. And TJ Hawkinson comes out and and dominates in Week One. You know, you had John Ross and Philip Dorsett look like, oh, the 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 real deal on these speedsters is here. And, uh, you know, on the flip side, you have guys like Mike Evans, who was the wide receiver 79 in week one, while while Chris Godwin is, oh, no, right. Mike Evans is dead. Or, or the running back three on the year in Aaron Jones, who was the running back 52 week one. It's like, oh, see, this was the – and the, the issue becomes when what you hoped happen does happen. If you were anti-Aaron Jones – or you were pro Sammy Watkins, or you know, it it confirms the bias already, and you, and you overreact so much. And what's funny is if you look at the season, this happens every single week of the year. Every week, you know, it's like, oh, Will Fuller this week was the wide receiver one and was unbelievable. But you don't you don't take it as truth when it's week eight because there's a larger set of data. And you know it hasn't happened every week. But when week one hits, there's this – we've talked so long about football, and now we get to see what the truth is. That's how we feel. And I want to make sure that coming into this next year, I don't recommend people going by and – you know, and it's one of those things. I think you things. hit on it. I think you hit on the actual psychological issue there. The confirmation, the confirmation bias? Because you want to declare victory. Yes, week one victory laps are the best. Do you do you remember when we were extremely anti Matt Forte? I think it was a Jets year. Yes, and he yeah. came out for the first week or two of the season. Oh, and he he lit it up, <laughs> and like we lost, but we we didn't lose, but we totally completely lost. Mm -hmm. Like over the course of the year, wasn't the same thing as what you got in those first two weeks. But it is very very difficult not to kind of, you know. Put the check mark down that you did get it right or you did get it wrong. It's hard to breathe. Yeah, so next year for all of us, not not just the three of us, but everyone playing, make sure you don't overreact to that week one. Don't sell the guys that sucked. Don't buy the guys that blew up. Breathe. Give yourself a little bit of time. I heard the end is the beginning is the end. That's what I heard. <laughs> oh, hey, wasn't expecting you. Thanks for watching the video. You should check out the long form, the hour. Check it out. Subscribe to the Fantasy Footballers channel.